morning everyone welcome to this introductory lecture to the course energy conversion technologies in this course the main focus is on studying different coal and biomass based conversion technologies to produce both fuel and chemical as a product coal and biomass valorization is considered as an important step to fill up the depletion of modern fossil fuel resources the anticipated long term decline in the fossil fuel reserves coupled with the threat posed by global climate change put forward urgent requirements for alternative feedstock to produce renewable fuel and chemical intermediates coal as an abundant resource and biomass as an abundant renewable energy resource have been recognized as an increasingly important raw material for sustainable production of both fuel and high value chemicals indeed this driving force has led to intense efforts to develop advanced coal and biomass based conversion technologies with refinery approach which to be competitive must produce fuel from biomass that is for example conversion of biomass to syngas and chemicals that is conversion of coal to chemicals by thermochemical biochemical chemical and hybrid processes so now if you look at this biomass conversion technologies there are four type of conversion technologies currently available that may result in specific energy and potential renewable product so now if you look at the particular chart the four technologies include thermal conversion thermochemical conversion biochemical conversion and chemical conversion now if you look at this thermal conversion process thoroughly if you can observe here the thermal conversion process leads to the production of primarily the heat as a product whereas in case of thermal conversion processes the feedstock has to go through a pre processing stage that is called as a densification process so that the densified product can undergo the combustion process by which the densified material is undergoing uh, the thermal conversion basically to produce primarily the heat as a product the heat produced from this particular process further can be used to produce steam followed by power as a product now if you look at the thermochemical conversion processes in case of thermochemical conversion the raw material has to undergo certain pre processing stage and these are mainly depends on the process of choice for example if we look at the thermochemical conversion processes there are three different types of conversion processes are available that is torrefaction gasification and the pyrolysis in case of torrefaction the product obtained is nothing but a bio coal whereas in case of gasification it produces mostly a syn gas as a product and in case of pyrolysis majorly three different types of products can be obtained that is charcoal gas and bio oil now the pre processing of raw material here mostly depends on the specific process but except size reduction is the main important part of this thermochemical conversion processes where the material has to be reduced to a proper size and hence it can be further used for the conversion purpose whereas in case of biochemical conversion processes if you look at the biochemical conversion processes there are majorly two processes available for the biochemical conversion one is ethanolic fermentation and other is the anaerobic digestion in case of ethanolic fermentation it is mostly depends on the quality of the raw material which is being used for the conversion purpose for example in case of lignocellulosic biomass the material has to undergo a hydrolysis stage to produce reducing sugar that reducing sugars can further be fermented to produce ethanol as a product whereas in case of pure sugar and starches it can directly be fermented to produce ethanol as a product now if you look at the anaerobic digestion as a process so in this particular process mostly the waste materials are being used for the conversion purpose so there are two specific type of alternative processes are available in case of anaerobic digestion that is called as a landfill gas and biogas so in case of biogas process 
the waste materials are being utilized to convert into a biogas as a product. So, the product obtained from the anaerobic digestion after gas cleaning process can be used as a pipeline quality gas or it can be used as a CNG or LNG. Now, the last process in the biomass conversion technologies is the chemical conversion. In case of chemical conversion processes, the raw material used are mostly a non-edible oils. So, the non-edible oils undergoes the transesterification process to produce biodiesel as a product. So, now if you look at this particular chart, the product mentioned here in this particular chart are basically a primary energy product which can be obtained from these conversion technologies. Whereas, this primary energy product can further undergoes the conversion to produce secondary energy product. So, now in the similar line, let us discuss about the coal conversion technologies. Now, if you look at the coal conversion technologies, here we have divided this coal conversion technologies into two types that is coal to liquid as a product and coal to gaseous product. So, first let us discuss about coal conversion technologies to produce liquid as a product. In case of coal conversion here, again if you can see here, there are four conversion primary technologies are available in the form of pyrolysis, solvent extraction, catalytic liquefaction and synthesis of producer gas. So, the pyrolysis of the coal leads to a production of the basically charcoal and the byproduct which is obtained during the pyrolysis of the coal is oil which undergoes the hydrodating process to produce liquid as a product. Similarly, if you look at the solvent extraction process here, so the solid obtained after the solvent extraction process are primarily a pure quality material which can directly use as a solid product. However, if required, these solid materials can undergo again the catalytic hydrogenation to produce liquid quality product. Now, the third coal conversion technology listed here is a catalytic liquefaction. So, the catalytic liquefaction process undergoes the liquefaction reaction to produce liquid as a product and the next process in the coal conversion technology is synthesis gas. So, the gas produced in this particular process after purification can lead to a fissure drop synthesis reaction to produce liquid as a product and also the produced gas can undergo the methanol synthesis to produce liquid methanol as a product. So, now if you look at this particular chart, it shows mostly the liquid product which can be obtained using these different conversion technologies. Now, if you look at the another chart where we can see that how this particular coal can be converted into a gaseous product. So, basically the coal in this particular case undergoes a gasification reaction to produce syn gas as a product and after gas cleanup stage, the purified gas can further undergo these different conversion technologies to produce these varieties of this product. Now, if you see here, there are four different conversion technologies are available again in this case. First is Fischer Trop, Methanol, Hydrogenation and then the Methanation. So, the utility of the product obtained from this particular processes find application in industries, utility for power generation, also it can be used as a chemicals. So, now at the end of this particular chart, if you see here, so the gas after cleaning which is called as a fuel gas can directly be used for the industrial processes and for the utility purpose, whereas this particular gas can also be used to produce electric power. So, all this coal and biomass based conversion technologies we will be discussing in this course. Now, if you look at the course layout, this course is of 8 weeks and each week there will be a 3 lectures. So, in all there will be a 24 lectures in this course and at the end of each week there will be a assignment. The assignment will be of MCQ type that is multiple choice question. Apart from that, in this particular course, some of the modules will also have the practice example. So, the major emphasis in this particular course is to discuss about these different conversion technologies and also to design some of these conversion technologies using the theoretical approach. 
So, I request those who are interested to enroll for this course may take up the exam as well. In this particular course, the question will be mostly of the MCQ type and apart from that there will be a short answer question based on the practice examples covered in the different assignments in this course. So, books and references. So, these are the books which can be used for the reference purposes, but it is very difficult to find a single book which covers all these conversion technologies. So, considering that the content of this course is designed in such a way that it covers the wide spectrum of biomass and coal based conversion technologies and the content of this course itself is sufficient for the learning and the reading purpose. Now, who should register? So, the BE, BTech, MEM Tech, MS and the PhD students or faculties from reputed academic and technical institutions interested in acquiring knowledge of different energy conversion technologies can register for this particular course. Apart from that, those who are pursuing a career as a chemical engineer, agricultural engineering, environmental engineering, mechanical engineering, energy engineering or biosciences and bioengineering. Apart from that, those who wants to pursue a career in designing energy conversion systems such as biomass and coal based conversion system can also opt for this particular course. Executives, engineers, researchers from manufacturing, service and government organization including R&D laboratories working in the area of energy engineering can also enroll for this course. I request those who are interested, please register for this course. If you have any queries regarding the content and the specific content in the specific module, you can write to me at vvgout at the rate iitg.sc.in and I will be happy to address your queries. Thank you.